This is Joe Lynch at CBIT 2011. We're at the Asus stand, and this is the E-pad slider. So, it's a tablet. Well, is it? We'll get to that in a second. It's running uh, Android version Honeycomb, which is the version of Android designed specifically for tablets. It's a 10.1 inch tablet, running at a 1280 by 800 resolution. It's a capacitive touchscreen, so you get multi touch, pinch to zoom, uh, gesture controls. You've also got Wi Fi, 3G, um, a 5 megapixel rear facing camera and a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera as well as gyro and accelerometer uh, sensors you've got a usb port audio jack card reader uh, docking port and a mini hdmi out if you wanted to uh, hook it up to a big screen but the big sell here for the asus e-pad slider is the fact that as you can see it's got a keyboard down here but it can slide away into a very thin tablet design. So you've got the best of both worlds here basically. You've got your QWERTY keyboard and you have your sort of uh, more traditional tablet form as well. It's very light, it's very thin, it's probably about the same size as a, as a notebook tablet um, so you wouldn't have to worry about carrying around something really huge with you so if I just show it slide back out on the back here is the part where it slides so yeah that's the Asus e-pad slider so if you're looking for a tablet uh, with the full functionality of a QWERTY keyboard so if we just leave that like that, then that isn't a, a bad option. Obviously we've seen similar things from Acer. Uh, if you remember our coverage from Mobile World Congress, they've uh, showed sort of docking uh, tablets. But the fact that this is an all-in-one unit gives it that sort of quite nice, unique uh, and portable sort of functionality as well. Can you do some like this in the